part of our continuing work with We the People Wisconsin Fact Finder. We look at a question tonight from viewer Lori Bonus Caswell. She's asking, what is the truth about putting teachers in the state pool for health insurance? News 3 political reporter Jessica Arp looks at this claim from a Scott Walker ad in tonight's Reality Check. As part of his penny-pinching mantra, Republican candidate Scott Walker is promising to allow teachers into the state health plan to save money. School districts spend millions more of our tax dollars than they need to for employee health care. We can save $68 million per year just by letting schools get into the state health plan. This needs clarification. First, districts can get in the plan right now, but teachers' unions have to agree. Walker's plan takes the issue off the bargaining table, allowing a school board to make the move on its own. The state teachers' union opposes this, saying unions should be able to bargain health care. The State Association of School Boards is for it. You should know that this isn't new. Currently, only three districts in the state do it, including Monona Grove, who joined more than 15 years ago and says it's still the best value option for them. However, other districts, like Madison, say it wouldn't save them any money. In fact, Madison has looked at the option for about the last 20 years and says their own negotiated plan is always cheaper. That's a lot of money. Money we could use to lower taxes and still put more teachers in the classroom. As a parent and as a taxpayer, that sounds pretty good to me. This needs clarification as well. Part of Walker's plan would let districts keep any money they save to help hold down taxes or hire more teachers. But that's not to say that the state couldn't cut back funding to schools knowing they are getting cost savings elsewhere. Also, this idea has been proposed before, passed by the Republican-controlled legislature in the 2003 budget. The provision was vetoed by Governor Doyle. Could it really save $68 million, though? Well, that's questionable. A voluntary plan means districts wouldn't have to change, and some have negotiated their own plans, which is saving them money already. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check.